answer. All right, bro. So to answer one of your questions, the one handed spin, the one handed spin, you know, if you're doing it right, because the knife side will be facing the same side that you started. So for example, you throw it up and when you catch it, palm facing down, your knife side will end up where you originally started from, right? I'll show you again. Just like that. Now to keep the momentum going, when you catch it, it'll look like this. Your hand will come down to keep that spinning going. So I'll do it slower. When you're starting out, the motion will seem really big. So it's okay because you're a beginner. So it'll go up high like this. And as you get better, the circle will go from a big circle to a smaller circle and a smaller circle. Meaning you start off like this in the beginning, really, really high, catch it with the knife side. And as you get better, that circle will get smaller and smaller and smaller to the point where my hand is barely moving now. See that? As you start off as a beginner, it's okay to throw it up high and exaggerate it until you get it down. And then once you get it down, the who caught that wrong? Once you get it down, the circle starts from really big and it gets more and more and more condensed with your hand. All right? That's tip number one.